Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker, and I will be very, very brief because I know time is is short. And I've listened to the debate uh, with interest, and uh, we could all throw punches from now to Christmas Eve about who's to blame for all of this uh, or whatever. But the reality is that there are hundreds of thousands of people in the United Kingdom, men, women and children, who are in poverty. It is estimated that 31,000, I think the figure is, senior citizens will die because of the lack of heat or food within their homes. That is a tragedy for any country, this modern day United Kingdom. Today, we see the electricity prices increasing, gas prices increasing, water charges increasing, people finding it hard to repay their mortgages. We heard earlier that interest rates may go up. They're being hit by the bedroom tax. I'll use that terminology, others will use something different. And of course, the banks are and have been ripping them off. Food banks are increasing in my own constituency of Upper Band, 200 square miles. It's not the biggest constituency in the United Kingdom, but food banks are now starting to increase, which never happened before. We're also sending millions of pounds per year to fill the coffers of Strasbourg so they can waste it on some outlandish project and to prop up other countries who have gone into bankruptcy. So whenever the general public looks at this debate today, they'll wonder what it's all about. And they will say to themselves, well, why should we bother to vote at all? Because we don't seem to be getting much out of it. I believe that as elected members, we should get closer to the general public and those who are going through serious, serious poverty. And it is a tragedy that you have people in this country who have to choose between hating their homes or going out to buy uh, their normal groceries. A major problem we will have in the future will be personal debt. How that is going to be solved or dealt with in the future, we do not know. But it will have to be addressed. There will be millions and millions of pounds in, in that difficulty. And whilst, yes, we are seeing vehicles being exported to other countries. That is brilliant. And exports in general seem to be fairly uh, in a good way of moving, and of course they are moving forward. But uh, business is looking fairly good, but the ordinary working class general public currently do not see the benefit of any of this. We talk about rebalancing the economy, and I agree we need to do that. It is imperative that we do that. But in finishing, Mr. Speaker, it is also important that this House, we have been sent here to represent the people of the United Kingdom, that we look at rebalancing the lives of the people that set us here. Yeah, okay.